And we're back here at the Gold Nomad Flag Center, the site of the ECAC Men's Basketball Tournament. As we have about 9.08 left to go before halftime. And right now, favors Penn State Altoona. They've been looking really sharp so far. Leads the rebounding battle 11 to 8. They are shooting 59%. Walker, USMLA, they have struggled shooting 29%. Look to find a way to try and ramp it up. Brandon Bomboy leads all scores with three, leads his team with three points. That was off of a three pointer. Here's Butcher. Look at inside, 10 left to shoot. Spina goes back to the right over to Butcher. He's gonna settle himself in. Out to Spina, he'll take a deep three and off the left rim and a rebound offensively. USMMA with another chance. Spina taking his time. Goes inside over to Bristol. Now back inside, Butcher with a contested jumper too strong. He only gets it in, but the off, but the rebound goes right back to Mason Bush. Word, he only has deflected away by Bristol. He steals it away and takes the easy jumper. Nice little floater that he's able to hook up right there. After the missed shot, he's able to find one up. And the Mariners cut the lead to 12. Strong effort right there. Tell the USMMA may, st may still have a chance. And here's a deep three. And off the right rim, rebound picked up after a failed effort by McClellan. So here's Spina, he'll slow it down. There's somebody available. Goes to his left for Zalazek. Zalazek. Spina from the right wing. Zalesic was not available. He'll go out for three. That one's airballed by Bristol and a rebound going the other way. Here's McClellan inside the paint. Goes right inside. Jared Gardner with a deuce. Nice effort from Jared Gardner, the big man inside. Six foot eight play center. You think it was something like that? I imagine he will be a good man going forward. Two and a half points per game he has. And now numbers here for Penn State Altoona. And another two-pointer. That comes from Ajarapu. And the junior and the freshman from Tampa, Florida, puts Penn State Altoona up by 16, their largest lead of the game. And another turnover. No, it will stay with USMMA. It's foul called against the Lions. Here we have some multiple substitutions on both sides. Charles Hicks, Jean Rainey, and Harmon check back in. For Penn State Altoona. Cody Robinson also checks back in for the Mariners. And so left wide open. Now here he is at the left corner. No look over to Robinson. Gets it inside to his teammate and gets the jumper that is Blaine McDonough. McDonough able to get two points of his own. It's back to a 14 point game. Inside that ball nearly stolen. Here's PJ Charles. Freshman can't hold on. He gets it back. Gets it against Robinson. Gets the layup and one. Great read by, Rob by Charles being able to see that Benson was about to go all over him. Takes advantage of being contacted and is able to make the shot off while that happens. So now Charles will head to the free throw line to complete the three point play. Charles, he is 78% free throw shooting this season. Here we have some more substitutions. Casey Parkins looked like he was ready to check in, but he'll have to wait a little while longer. Charles can't hit the free throw and Butcher with the rebound. Lead now back up to 16 for. Penn State Altuda. Lions been looking sharp here in this first half, looking good offensively and defensively. Here's Cody Robinson with a deep three, catches it in. Cody Robinson leads the team in three point shooting this season, and he finally finds one down there to cut the lead to 13. Robinson just really likes play, getting threes from that position on the court. That's his favorite position. Rainey over to P.J. Charles. Charles, inside and why not? 
Charles got that great post play to work with, and he's just got the athleticism to prove that he can do it. Now Robinson on the other end with Bristol. Bristol left wide open. He'll take a three. Can't rattle it in. The rebound picked up by Harmon. Harmon has three points so far. Meanwhile, the ball goes out of bounds after a failed throw over from McClellan. Now we get a substitution. McClellan checks out. And Casey Parkins checks in for the first time today. Parkins, sophomore police guard and forward from Laurel, Maryland. Averaging just under seven points per game this season. And he's a perfect 15 of 15 from the free throw line. Okay, quick little delay as we have PJ Charles trying to tie his shoes. 516 left to go in the first half. Penn State Altoona leading USMMA 33 to 18 in the core final round of the ECAC men's basketball tournament. Winner of this game takes on William Patterson tomorrow as the Pioneer shocks out the Alvernia Golden Wolves 88 to 85. Parkins, look for somebody available. He gets inside and he has Robbie Hicks hit the two. Just a great read right there by Hicks. He was able to get enough separation, especially from the free throw line. And he averages 74% from there this season. Like taking the free throw. Usually that's a lot less pressure to get than a normal shot. Robinson from deep. Can't hit a second, but he gets his own rebound. USMMA will try it again. Butcher. Here's Robinson. Will he try it this time? The second time is a charm. And Cody Robinson just continuing to prove why he's been the best three-point shooter on the team this season. And Robbie Hicks can't respond. But Casey Parkins with the offensive rebound. Altoona will keep it. 15 on the shot clock now. Harmon's taking his time with the ball. Robinson has converted six points so far. Both shots have come from deep. Harmon, breaking inside, draws up another foul. Fouls up against Luke Butcher. For Butcher, that's going to be his first foul. So here now, Harmon checking back to the free throw line. Four of the five free throw tries total for Penn State Altoona in this first half. They're only one of five. Rebounding battle slightly favors the Lions 15 to 12. Harmon can't hit the first. Seems like his 66% free throw shooting is on the wrong side. But it has not stopped them from being able to take a good lead here in this first half. He nails the second free throw and Penn State Altoona now leads 36-21. Despite leading a nearly little full court press shown by the Lions. They don't want to take any chances. Benzel goes out to Robinson. Almost thought about three. Here inside is Bristow, who's been remained silent here tonight. And he loses the ball. Picked up going to Hicks. Here's Harmon. One man to beat. Got his dunk blocked. Big time by Isaac Benzel. And the defense stands up. And conversion? No. An offensive foul called against McDonough. Oh, man, you can hear the furiousness of Rob Pryor. He's not liking what he's hearing out of that. For McDonough, that's his second foul. It's a crazy first half we got going here with 3.29 left to go. Lions are leading 